guys welcome to the video and if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you guys have been riding with me for a long time thank you for coming back so let's get into why y'all came here now if you have already seen my previous video or if you have not seen my previous video about my first check make sure you go check it out so you can kind of get an idea of what I got paid as my as a new nurse on my first check i'm kind of go gonna go over a brief overview here as well but make sure you check that video out because it was definitely helpful for a lot of people that was like one of my highest viewed videos um and i like to make videos that are informative for y'all and that can help you out so today what we're going to be talking about is how i've increased my pay as a new nurse and before I get into the numbers, because I'm going to show you guys actual numbers, I'm going to show you my real check as I give you these tips so you can see that these things are real. Um, I want to go over a few specs so we're all kind of on the same page. So let's get into it. So a few things that I kind of wanted to go over before I get into the numbers is that I am a new nurse, obviously by the title of this video. But for just for those who don't know, or to be just specific, I started in May. Um, so I have not been a it has not been a full year since I've been a nurse, and I consider that new, very new. I work night shift. I work at a hospital. I work on a cardiac unit. Um, I work in the state of Florida. I do not have any kids, and I claim single on my taxes. And you'll understand later why I brought that up and why it's important. I get paid bi-weekly, and I have my ADN, not my BSN. And I say that because there is an incentive from what I'm understanding from most people um, that you can get paid a little bit more not that much but a little bit more because you have your BSN but for the sake of this video I just have my ADN and that's pretty much it just so you guys can kind of have an idea of where I stand and let me know if I'm forgetting anything if I am forgetting anything just leave a question down in the comment and I'll make sure to answer it so how the, vid the video is going to go is what I'm going to do is show you two things one I'm going to show you what you can get paid max if all the parameters are met and I'll explain that a little bit more once we get to that point but just briefly so you understand what I mean by parameters is if you have this this and this this is the max amount that you can get paid an hour if all of those parameters are met and the second thing that I'm going to show you is my actual checks so when those are par parameters are met I'm going to show you what I actually made so let's get into this video so what I'm going to do is show you guys from smallest to largest how I've learned to increase my pay. All of these things can be done depending on your situation, um, but they are what has worked for me. And I figured I'd just share it with you guys um, because as a new nurse, we're trying to get that money, honey. Uh, we are already overworked and underpaid in any little extra counts especially if you have kids if you have debt if you have a new house like me and I'm trying to furnish it if you have travel plans if you are trying to save it's nothing wrong with having more money so the first way that I've learned to increase my pay is to work nights and weekends and I didn't pick working nights they picked it for me um, but I, I knew that I wouldn't have a problem with it. And now looking back on it, I don't think I ever would have wanted to go days, especially at the rate that they get paid. I only get paid $26 and some change for my base pay. Um, and that's what they get paid day shift. And I'm just like, yeah, that's not going to cut it. So I definitely don't even mind working night shift. I like that extra differential and our differential is $5. But how I've increased that is by working weekends. I know, I know a lot of people will probably be like, girl, I'm not trying to work on the weekend. I'm trying to be free. And that is cool. I get you 100%. But for me and mine, I don't do much. I'm pretty much a loner. I don't go out like that. So it benefits me to work the weekend if I'm just sitting at home doing nothing. So I do not have a problem with it. So what I'm going to do is show you guys a check where I picked up every weekend and now remember I get paid bi-weekly so this is a two-week check all right so as you can see from the check I'll just break it down really quick the $25.91 this is an older check right now I, I got a pay increase but it wasn't even a full dollar I think it was like I went from $25.91 to $26.40 something maybe um but at this time I was making $25.91 and that is the base pay you get paid that day or night shift as a new nurse at my facility 
You'll see in the column where it says third shift differential, that is the night shift. So we get paid an extra $5 if we work night shift. So that's a total of $30 and some change already. And then weekends, they only pay $2. So max, if I picked up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I make a total of $32 max an hour if all of those parameters are met. If I'm working night shift and if I'm working weekends. I'll show you what my check looks like just doing that. You can see, and so as you can see for my net pay, was $18.25.48. And if you watch my previous video, you know that I was making around $1,700. That's what I would make if I was just picking up a weekend here or there, still working night shift, just $1,700. So you see, picking up weekends is not a huge difference, but that could just be gas money for the week. That could be food money for the week. That extra $150 makes a difference. So every little penny counts. So next we are going to talk about picking up extra shifts. So I work 12 hour shifts. So keep in mind that I get 36 hours a week, 72 hours pay period. So I don't get a full 40, 80 check like people who work five days a week, eight hours a day. So keep that in mind. And so I have found that if I pick up an extra shift, it increases my pay by a good amount. So what I've learned is that I pick up one shift a week. I don't want to do more than one shift. Four days is plenty enough for me because like I said, I am a new nurse and it can be very overwhelming. Like I am learning constantly every single day and my body and my mind needs a rest from work. So I don't mind just picking up one. I know people who will work six days a week. That ain't me. I'm not doing it. I'm not that pressed right now in my life for money. There are things that I want to do. But I'm not willing to sacrifice just rest and relaxation and social time with my friends and my family all for the sake of money. I'm just not doing that. But if I mean, if you are at that point in your life where you got to go, where you got to get something done and you got to work six days a week and you can, by all means, do it. Just for me and mine, I'm not doing it. I find that four days a week is enough for me. So again, you'll start to see a trend. My base pay is still the same. This is when I got a raise. It is... 2643 night shift is still the same five dollars weekends is still the same two dollars and then if i pick up a shift it doesn't matter if it's a weekend or weekday if i pick up a shift i don't know how they calculated this number because it's not time and a half and it's not half time i don't know where they got this random 1637 from but that's what i get paid for those extra hours worked over and so what it usually is is once i hit 40 for that week, anything after that is extra. So say I do my three days, that's 36 hours. So now I need four more hours to get a full 40 hour shift. And 40 hours would just be regular pay. Anything after 40 is considered overtime. I don't know how they calculate their overtime, but as you can see, it just says that I get paid the $16. So if my base pay is the same, which it will be, or it will increase, if I'm working night shift, if I picked up a weekend day and I picked up an extra shift, say that extra shift just happened to fall on, fall on the weekend, I can make $49.80 an hour. So let me show you guys what that actual check looks like. So as you can see, I end up picking up two shifts, one each week, and my check came out to $2,540, which is... To me, it's a significant amount considering that I was making $1,700, close to the lower end on $1,700. That's that extra $800. That's a, a paying off of paying your car note, um, school money for your kids, paying an extra bill, paying on your debt, a vacation. Like, that's extra money considering that I was getting paid $1,700 and that's only for picking up one day. So imagine if I decided to pick up two days. Another thing that I wanted to mention as well is that once you start working so much, the government already takes a lot of money. You already know that. But once you start getting to a certain point, they it's like you honestly working for them to take your money. So do keep that in mind as well. Like don't be working seven days a week because honestly it's not going to end up being worth it. Find your happy medium. I find that four is more than enough for me. 
I don't, I've never even tried five or six and I don't think I, I would have to be in a really desperate situation to be picking up that many days. <laughs> it's just not for me because I need my me time. I need to be at home. I need to be in a place outside of work in order for me to function at a, at a capacity that's necessary for me to be even be at work. So find out what is your happy medium. It may be five days a week. If five days is good for you, do that. But if you have the ability to pick up an extra shift, I definitely encourage you to do it um, because you will see the difference on your check. So let's get into the third way that I have found to increase my pay as a new nurse. The third way that I have found to increase my pay is by working on holidays. And I know a lot of people will be like, why do I wanna work on a holiday? Like, it's never that serious. And I get you 100%. Your holidays should be your holidays, if, especially if you have that luxury. But for most nurses, you do have to work a certain amount of holidays. For me, I stay down here by myself. My family is like an hour or two away and I don't mind working on holidays. But the cool thing for my facility is that our holidays for night shift is the day before. So, for example, I worked the day before Thanksgiving. That is considered my holiday. So that means if I still wanted to go kick it with my family on Thanksgiving Day, I can do that. So it works out for me in my favor. So let's go through the numbers. Again, these are all the same. Base pay 2643 night shift five dollars weekends two dollars and if i work a holiday that's time and a half now that number i was able to figure out it's time and a half so time and a half basically means my base pay and then half of that so that's a total of 39 dollars and 65 cent an hour for working that holiday and if all of those parameters are met I can be making $89.29 if my base pay is the same, like I said, which it will, if I'm working night shift. If I'm working a weekend, now granted, Thanksgiving doesn't fall on the weekend, but say that you work on Christmas and that falls on a Saturday, then that, that meets the parameter for you to get paid that weekend shift differential and then also the time and a half. So if all of those parameters are met, I could have gotten paid $89.29 an hour for that one day. That's clutch. It didn't happen that way, but just kind of thinking the mindset that if, when Christmas starts to fall around on a holiday, and if they offer that, go ahead and pick it up if you can, especially if they have that same policy like my facility does, that your holiday falls the day before. I just feel like, why not? So I'm going to show you guys what my actual check looked like. And remember, I wasn't getting paid the $89 because Thanksgiving did not fall on a holiday. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, and so as you can see on here, that's what I was getting paid for the holiday. That's my base pay, weekend pay, night shift. And then I also picked up one shift that week. I only picked up one shift that week. And my check turned out to be $25.23. Now the check would have been more if I would have picked up another shift that second week. But you still see that's another, that's that's $800 just for picking up the weekend. And you see what that pay was. That was $400, that was almost $500 just for working the weekend. Not to mention if I would have decided to pick up an extra shift and got that overtime. So keep that in mind. If you have that facility has that same policy of working night shifts and you get paid the night before go ahead and do it like why not especially if you need the extra money okay so the last way that i'm going to show you guys how i made extra money as a new nurse is that our facility has an extra shift incentive program so where i work at is a seasonal location meaning that a lot of people come from up north during the winter time down here um, they have winter homes. I work in a very prominent area. And so there's an influx in our senses around this time. And we need nurses. And so in order for them to get us in, instead of just asking, they say, hey, we'll pay you a certain amount, amount if you pick up an extra shift outside of what you regularly work. And that goes for techs. That goes for nurses, secretaries, like we need people all around. And so I've already been picking up extra shifts, but on top of that extra shift, they pay me a certain amount. And that amount is $8. And that may not seem like a lot, 
But once you start to tally up these things, 200 there, 200 there, 400 there, it starts to add up. And so I'll explain it to you so it kind of makes sense because it's not like I'm picking up an extra shift on top of an extra shift. They're just paying me more for picking up an extra shift. So again, the numbers are the same. Y'all get it. $26.43 base pay, $5 night shift, $2 weekend, $16 for the extra shift that I picked up. I told y'all I don't know how they calculated that number, but $16 an hour for that extra shift, anything overtime. And then for the extra shift, you only get paid that 60 I'm only getting paid that $16 for the overtime anything over 40 hours but for the extra shift incentives I'm getting paid the $8 for that whole entire shift so that basically means I can be getting paid $57 of some change an hour if all those parameters are met base pay is the same working night shift I'm working on a weekend I pick up an extra shift and we still have that program running $57 and I'm going to show you guys the difference that check made by me just doing that on that check you can see i made thirty one hundred and sixty dollars just by picking up an extra shift a week and making sure that i keep my nights and my weekends that is a significant amount from seventeen hundred and so i say all this to say like i'm trying to get as much money as i can because when season slows down that's when they're going to start calling us off and saying you know we don't need you to come in now granted i do still have my pto time but my facility which i think is kind of bogus they don't pay you your night shift differential if they call you off you still get paid but you get only paid your base pay and i'm just like really so i'm trying to get as much money as i possibly can while i can before season starts to go away so keep in mind y'all again when i was giving y'all those numbers, those were max pays. If all of those parameters are met, that's what you can get paid max an hour. You got to remember every holiday is not going to fall on the weekend. Every person is not going to work the weekend. Every person is not going to work night shift. But that is what I found worked for me. A few other ways that I've heard of people increasing their pay um, is just getting a second job. I know it seems like extra added, like, oh, I don't want to get a second job. But Get something that's easy, um, something that's, that doesn't require a lot from you because you don't want to go to one stressful job to the next. Um, and that's what I was definitely thinking about getting just a second income. But I don't mind coming to my facility and picking up an extra shift. It's essentially the same thing. Most nurses that I know of, they have a second job. Like, it's rare that I come in contact with a, a nurse who doesn't have a second job or who didn't have a second job at some point. And I think that's because we only get those 36 hours a week. We don't get a full 40 hours unless we're doing overtime. I mean, unless you stay in over two hours every shift, um, then I can see it or an hour and a half every shift. But I be in and out. I don't be trying to stay there. Not just to make it to 40 hours. It's not that serious to me. Also, we have seasonal down here. So a lot of nurses will go to another facility. And our facility hires seasonal nurses. And they get paid like $50, $60 an hour. They get paid really, really good. Um, and so what some people will do is they'll have a PRN job. Meaning you have a set number of days you have to work that month. That you're obligated to work at that facility most of them are like maybe two to four times a month and then you have your seasonal job where you're going to them more often and i was definitely thinking about doing that um but i just want to get my feet wet first and then i'll switch over to that because with seasonal is they don't get benefits they don't get pto time and at our facility the first people that they call off if we don't need staff is seasonal people so you got to make sure that you have benefits and you got to make sure you kind of manage your money right because you're not going to get paid for that day that they call you off like somebody like me who was core staff if they call me off i still get paid my base pay um just not the night shift if i was seasonal i would not get paid anything i'm just called off so that is another thing to think about and then the last thing that i heard is Filing 99 on your um, on your taxes, basically meaning that when you get paid, 
they don't take any money out. I think they still take out like Medicare, your insurance and stuff like that, but they don't take out federal. And I've heard of a lot of nurses who do that. Y'all let me know in the comments, have y'all ever heard of that? Do y'all do that? What do y'all think of that? I'm assuming that it's not a bad thing, but I'm so paranoid that I think the government will come after me. Not that I've done anything wrong, but I'm just like, I feel like I need to do my research a little bit more to kind of see if it's legit or not. Because it sounds like it's too good to be true. And it's probably not because what it sounds like is you just need to be able to manage your money. Because when it comes time for you to file your taxes, the government's going to want their money. So you need to be putting money aside to pay them when you file your taxes. And if you're able to manage your money... I feel like that is definitely a good idea. You're getting all your money up front, and then when you pay them, you pay them. So y'all let me know about that. That is definitely another way for you to save, um, for you to increase your pay. Because Lord knows the government takes every single penny. And I am not married, which means that I am only filing one on my taxes, and I don't have any kids. So y'all know they take it everything from me people who have kids they give they they let y'all keep a little bit more um but for me and mine that is not the case so let me know if this was helpful to y'all um if y'all have any questions leave them down below i hope i didn't forget anything i didn't leave anything out i hope everything kind of made sense um and it was helpful for y'all to see the actual numbers because people can tell you oh you can make this that and the third if you do this but what does that actually look like i'm a visual person i want to see what 89 dollars an hour looks like i want to see what picking up an extra shift looks like i want to see what time and a half looks like so i really hope this i really hope that this was informative to y'all if y'all have any other ideas for videos that you would like me to make regarding nursing um let me know below um because sometimes i don't know what y'all want to see unless y'all tell me and i'm kind of just brainstorming and, and throwing it out there and if it bite it bite so thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video